good morning students today we are going to start with our subject computer of class 3 chapter number 7 formatting text in word 2013 in previous chapter we have learned how to open word 2013 so in this chapter we will learn how to format a text first formatting formatting is a process of changing the general arrangement and the appearance of text so is that improving the appearance of text by using the various fonts font colors font size and font styles a font is a set of letter number or symbol of a given size and design that may be displayed or printed The settings that are standard or predefined in a software are called default settings. The formatting helps you to make a change to the default setting. It also helps you in highlighting the important text in your document and make the text look more attractive. So first is character formatting. Character formatting means display the text in a certain manner. The character formatting consists of the text properties bold, italic, underlined, font type, font size, font color, etc. So today we are going to discuss about the font group. So students, you need to type some information in your word document. So we have typed some information in this document. So let's learn how to format a character. to apply the vector formatting to your text using the command on the ribbon so you have to follow some steps select the text which you want to format with the help of mouse and moving the mouse over the text then click on home tab in home tab the second group is font group So the first option in font group is text type. From here you can select any type of a text which you want to apply to your text on your character. So just for the example you can select any style. So is change here. Next is you can increase the size. So by default in this window we have a minimum size is eight and maximum size is seventy two. So according to your requirement you can select any size. So if you change anything that is only applied to the selected part of your text. Next option is two. increase the font size for example you want to increase it more so you can directly click on this button to increase the font size so as you press this button so it's increase the font size value here like 80 so when you press it more it's moved to 90 next option is if you want to decrease the font size then you can select this option to decrease the font size so you can also adjust the increase the size and decrease the size by using these two option increase font size and decrease font size next option is if you want to make your text bold then you can select this option b for to make your text in bold form so it's change next is for an italic so it's make it the word italic next is underline option so in underline we have a different options by clicking on this button so like you want to make it double line a thick line or dashed dotted dash zigzag so any style which you want to use you can select that next option is strike through for example if we have write some word here 
and we want to cut those words from the middle part then you can use strike through option so these all words are cut in. so for example if you have write some letter and there is some like uh, some mistakes are there you can use this option to highlight those words so these words are missing or these words are written or wrong so the next option we have subscript and superscript so we will use these two functions when we have to write anything in the footer of any mathematical or scientific equation we will use the subscript and superscripts just change the font for example we have to type h2o now you can see in the uh, in the scientific formula when we have to write the chemical equation of water so that 2 is at the foot of h so this 2 is at the foot of h so we will select this 2 with the help of mouse and then we will select this option subscript so it make this word at the footer part so similarly when we have to write any mathematical equation like x square y square okay so first we will select this two and select the option superscript similarly we will select this word and select the option superscript from the font group so in this way you can use the subscript and superscript next we have the font color option font color option is used to change the font color right now this font is with black color but if you wish to change it to the another color then you have to select this font color option from here by clicking on this drop menu you can select any color for your text for example yellow red color maroon color green color blue purple so any color which you want to apply you can select it next is for example so you can use these options to color your text so if you want to clear this formatting you can use this button to clear all the formatting option from your text and convert back to the normal one next we have a option next we have character formatting using the font dialog box if you need to more formatting option you can use the formatting dialog box to open the formatting dialog box click on home tab under the font group click on this small icon to open the font dialog box or either you can press ctrl plus d first we have option to select the font style from here you can select any style second option is the font style regular like this for italic bold bold and italic so you can select any option so from this window you can select the size from here you can select the color for your font underline option so like double wave line you can also choose the underline color by default here we have only black color but from here you can choose another color for the underline option like blue color then which effect you want to apply you can select the all the effects from here like strike through double strike through and subscript superscript small caps all caps 
if you want to make all the text into the capital in advance you can also select the spacing option like the scale under percent spacing is normal or extended by one point the space between the words position normal raised or lowered so which selection you want to select then there are another options which you can apply and practice on your text then click on ok button to change the apply so in this way you can change the option so you can format your text according to your requirement with the help of font dialog box next is text effect in the world 2013 there is a new button called text effect in the font group using this button you can apply a different kind of effects to any text in the document you can change the look of the text by changing its color outline or by adding effect like shadow glow reflection etc you can apply the text effect by selecting these option first of all you need to select a text for example we just select this word computer click on a home tab under the group font from here you can select the text effect option so these are all the different text effects are here so you can select any one like the reflection then you can change the outline like with the red color you can change the shadow reflection glow number style in a literature format uh, like the static sets select the simple font and then you can use this option so in this way you can modify your text according to your requirement so either you can select the whole paragraph and from here you can apply the effect to that text so here when we increase the size more so you can see here all the words are in reflection form so in this way you can convert your text according to your requirement and the last option is here we have first we select the static stylish set from here you can choose any option like this we have up so you can see here our computer word is changed according to the selected text effect so you can practice more and learn more about this text effect next option is highlighting a text highlighting means making the text look different to draw the reader attention towards it highlight text has the color box around it so first the word which you want to highlight for example i want to highlight this word machine select this word click on home tab under the group font select the option highlight from here you can choose the color with which you want to highlight it for example hardware and software component so you can choose other color to highlight so in this way you can highlight the text according to your required if you wish to remove this highlight then select the word click on this and choose the option no color so it's make it normal text again next we have aligning the text for example we want to align the text according to our need for example uh, in a english we prefer to align the text according to the left side like in a mathematics we prefer to align the text to the right side in a newspaper we have a justified type of alignment so let's see the difference between all of these first one is first you need to select the paragraph or a text to align it then click on a home tab in the group paragraph 
first we have option to align the text to the left side so it align the text to the left side and we have you can see here we have a word in a zigzag type from the right side second option is to align your text to the center alignment so now this text is aligned at the central part for example when we have a title of a document we prefer to use central alignment and third alignment is right alignment in which the text is aligned on the right side okay like when we have to write the mathematics equation we prefer to use right alignment or in urdu we use right alignment and fourth option is to justify to align the text both side left side and right side and it at the same position of all the lines okay so in this case it will increase the space in between the words so in this way you can apply these four type of alignment to align your text next is apply borders and shading the steps to apply the border and shading is first you have to click on home tab in the paragraph group here we have a border so for example we are going to apply the border to this select from here the border like all border so border is applied to this paragraph next is shading with the help of shading you can choose any other option like uh, the theme color which you want to apply as the background of that selected box if you click on this button you will see the more options related to the paragraph dialog box you can also use these options to align your text or increase the spacing between the text and or other properties of paragraph next is if you want to in, uh, change the border settings then you can click on border shading a dialog box is appear from here you can choose the style of your border like a triple line from here you can change the width from here you can change the color of your border for example blue color then apply to this paragraph click on okay to see the changes so in this way first you need to select the paragraph then click on border and shading option from here you have to choose the style which you want to apply then from color option you can change the color of your border and with this you can increase the width of your border and click on okay button to apply it so here we have that border next is you can also change the shading color for example first select the paragraph click on border and shading from here you can choose the border as we discussed earlier from here you can choose the border color and with the help of shading from here you can select the color for shading it like green color the pattern you can also change the solid 20% 30% or like any pattern style and click on okay to see the changes so it's applied to this paragraph the border is changed and the background shading is also changed okay students so this is all about your chapter number 7 so in this chapter we have learned about formatting default settings alignment and highlight the text and then we'll discuss about how to change the border and the shading means background color of your text Thank you students have a nice day